Okay then guys, so welcome back to another video. Now today's video is going to be a quick one. Now essentially what I'm going to show you guys is how to debadge or remove a badge from your car. Now let's get outside and I'll show you what I mean. Okay then, so we're at the rear of the car then and as you can see we have a 520D badge because this is a BMW E60 520D and I actually want to remove that because I'm going to be installing an M5 badge then we're actually going to change to a quad exhaust as well just so we can try and make it look a bit more like an M5 that was a joke don't worry we're just going to be removing this just so that we can have nothing here just to make it a look a little bit cleaner and um, essentially all you need to do to remove this is just use a hammer and a chisel you just need to get the chisel behind the badge hit the badge off and uh, then you should be good to go that was also a joke if you've only got this far and you've switched off then I do apologize but no the way that we will be removing the badge today is if I have it somewhere with dental floss now it's very important that you make sure you have the mint flavor because basically the mint flavoring on the dental floss actually helps the badge come off the paintwork that was also a joke uh, any kind of dental floss will do now you could use something like fishing line but because uh, dental floss is very soft um, we're not going to cause any any damage to the paintwork itself essentially all you need to do is pull the dental floss tight get it behind the badge and then cut through the adhesive on the back of the badge go all the way along until it falls off then we just need to remove the excess residue that's left over them so let's get cracking okay then so before we begin with the dental floss i'm actually just going to spray some de some degreaser just to help soften the adhesive now you could use uh, wd-40 which would actually probably be better because it's going to help and aid in the removal of the leftover residue but i'm just going to go ahead and use some degreaser get the dental floss behind the badge and then basically all you're going to do is just go back and forth or you break through that adhesive and the badge should eventually fall off once all of the adhesive has been cut through Yeah, that's the first badge removed. Get off. Get you. Get off. Get off. And to the final one. And there we go. And there we go, there's all of the badges removed. Okay then, so I actually managed to find some WD-40 and that is what I'm gonna to use to remove the leftover residue. So I'm just gonna spray that on. And then I'm gonna use a card to remove the leftover residue. It does take a while, but it's got to be patient.
Okay then, so as you can see then, the majority of the residue has been removed. All that's left is just a very, very thin layer. So I'm just gonna continue removing that. Okay then, so I'm pretty confident that I've removed 99% of the residue. I'm just gonna go over with some tea cut and then polish whatever is left and uh, then hopefully it should match the rest of the paint. Buff that out. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that uh, it's all pretty much removed now. Okay then, so just gave it a wash just to wash all of the excess residue away and as you can see, it's all completely gone and it's looking so much better now. Okay then, so that is the rear badge removed and in my opinion, it looks so much cleaner now and I actually have the option if I wanted to, to stick an m swap badge on the rear. Now, don't worry, you don't have to worry, I don't plan on sticking an m swap badge on the rear i think it looks just looks better as it is but because this is an m swap model i do have the option to do that of course now for whatever reason there seems to be a massive fuss about people sticking m swap badges on m sport models personally i don't see the issue everyone is free to do as they wish and especially if you have an m swap model car what's the you know what's what's the harm in putting an extra m swap badge on i think the main to be honest i think the main reason for confusion is from the guys in the us because on their e60s and e90s they don't really have many m sport models out there they only really have the se models and then like the m3s or m5s so they're not actually aware of the M Sport models. They, they they actually don't know the difference. So they think that if you are sticking an M badge or an M Sport badge on your car, that it's an SE model and you've basically stuck an M3 or an M5 badge on, which obviously isn't the case. There is a difference between M Sport and an M3 and an M5. Um, but yeah, it's just some food for thought. I hope this video has been somewhat helpful anyway. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a like. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you have not already done so. And I will see you guys in that next video. Peace.